Hey there, guys. I'm going to record this video here because I keep getting um, the same questions. So they're good questions, and I want to answer this, and I want to be able to provide it to everyone. So Jason and actually two other people today asked me the same question. So I thought, well, I might as well just record this and hand it off to everyone. So the question is, uh, should I just simply write content, put it in a signal genesis, and then run it into my media room? Or should I have a blog article and a press release? And um, and if so, how does that kind of work together? And then also um, kind of in that same question is a little question about using the sourcing. So I'm going to cover those two questions here. So um, let me give you guys the best practice, all right? Um, the best practice is that you have a blog article and you do a press release about that blog article and you use that blog article as the source uh, in the press release. Okay, down at the bottom in step three, when you go into your uh, one of your press releases, I'm in Jason's account since he just asked this question. Um, we go into, uh, let's just go into the one that's uh, got report available real quick, just to, actually I'm gonna go into a, 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 a kind of a, a demo one here. When you get to step three here, um, you're going to get this display original source uh, checkbox. Yes, check that. Yes, check manually inserted. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the, the URL of your media room and you're going to populate that right here, okay? You, um, you could certainly um, put, if you had the blog article and the blog article is written and the press release is about the blog article, then use the blog article URL here as the source instead of the media room. And that's just really the only kind of minor nuance. If you do have a blog article, which is the best practice, okay? It's what I did in my case study series, that three-part case study series, where I ranked um, the, the blog article, okay, on Google Stacking. I ranked this blog article uh, in the first spot uh, across many different keywords in less than 70 days. This blog article is the main page, the main blog, or, you know, it's a page, right? Uh, it's got a URL. Um, it's the main page that I wanted to rank for a set of keywords. And so I wrote the article on the blog, assigned it to the category that I wanted it to be in, white label SEO. Uh, Google Entity Stacks is the ultimate, you know, permis permalink or slug. It's in the blog. Um, and then I ran three successive press releases to them, and those press releases are found in our media room. So on April 16th, I ran the first, uh, actually April 17th, I ran that first uh, article or press release. And I point in the very first link here, I point to um, that press release, all right? And I don't remember if I used the source here. Yeah, and the source here, uh, that was before we actually launched the media room. So it was right before we launched media rooms in May. So I actually used the press releases as the original source there in that uh, example. There's no one right or wrong way exactly to do this. And I would definitely recommend that you, you, you experiment. But to the question that Jason had, um, the best practice would be to have a blog article, do a press release about the blog article, use the blog article as the source down here in your first step. And then in your second press release, you're going to use um, the media room as the as the source. And then I would link to the first press release in the second press release in your first link. And now you begin to stack the press releases all pointing that authority upstream to um, that first blog article that you um, that you link to and that you're you know you're supporting in that first press release. So if you're going to do this in succession, the way I teach it in the um, the Google Doc, which is inside the ten simple steps to ranking anything inside Signal Genesis, if you follow this Google Doc, you'll see publish um, the first article here. Um, and what I did here is I I, I wrote the first press release. Um, but I, I had also written a corresponding blog article. Now, if you have old blogs on a blog and you want to revive them, repurpose them, then by all means, use those instead of writing a new one. In this case, I wrote a completely new blog article and then began my press release stacking in succession here, which is the, the one, two, three, four, uh, three to four press releases in succession over, you know, every, about every three weeks um, until you get your, your rankings that you're looking for. 
Um, obviously, this can also be applied to a GMB listing. Just put your GMB listing um, it links into the blog article and into each press release so that you're running that relevancy and that prominence and that authority, not only to the page, but also to your GMB listing. Just make sure the GMB listing has a do follow and your blog article has a do follow or in the alternative uh, that your blog article is actually used as the source. OK, so if I go back to. Um, I believe in the second uh, and the third press releases that I did, I used the media room here as the as the actual source here, which is what you see here. Um, and I linked to my my blog uh, article within uh, within the actual body of the article. Usually it's the first link or the last link that I do follows the way I do it. it does, again, there's no right or wrong here, guys. This has been experimentation. What I've done here is encapsulated a couple of years of it, of really experimenting and finding out what works the best. Um, but um, you can certainly use your blog articles and then do a press release about them and then either link to the blog article in the first link or use it as the actual source link um, as well down here. And you could just do that each month. Just do a blog article, do a press release about the blog article, and then use the source link, uh, use the blog article URL or permalink as the source link here. Um, I did this here in a succession in a press release stack. OK, so that's what's being done here. If you just do it one month over one month over one month and every month, you're just doing a blog article and a press release and using the blog article URL as your source link. That's a perfectly fine strategy as well. Just kind of experiment and um, and do different things. Um, I definitely like to use the media room because the media room, obviously, these stories are all integrated and linked with the news sites. Uh, we've got, you know, Google Map integrations here. Um, this, okay, you already got this in here. So, um, you know, these integrations are nice and there's great for clients to see these as well. So the media room is a really nice deliverable also with great signal generation and news integration. So there's a lot of things happening underneath the, the surface that, um, that are when you have an article launched through Signal Genesis and into your media room. But most certainly you can use any blog article and use that as the source URL. You could use a page, you could use a service page as one of your source URLs and drive a press release stack to um, a service page. You could drive, uh, you could use a location page as a source URL and then drive a press release stack to a location page. So there's many different ways to do this. What, just substitute the blog article URL for a location page or uh, an inner service page uh, or something like that. Uh, you could do it to a podcast. You want to make a podcast rank for a certain keyword, um, have the podcast page, um, use do a press release about the podcast, use the podcast page as uh, the source URL in that first press release, and then do another couple press releases over the next three, six, nine weeks and then stack those press releases and keep linking to that pod, podcast page as well. And you'll just watch the rankings rise for that podcast page. So you can basically do this for any page you want. Um, and in sourcing this, um, what we're telling Google is we're saying, hey, Google, uh, the canonical of this belongs to be over here or the original source of the content, meaning the authorship credit should be assigned to this, you know, this page. Google will crawl the media room and find every article that's in the media room. So um, it, it's smart enough to find, you know, the title um, if you've got many articles in here. So you can use the media room URL as your source, but you can certainly use a blog article URL here as a source or a service page or a location page, especially if it's the first one um, in a stack um, like I teach here in the 10 simple steps. So hopefully that kind of knocks out a couple of different questions about should we use the blog or should we not? Should we just get away with do away with the blog? No, don't do away with the blog. Repurpose those blog articles by doing a press release about them. You can nearly copy and paste the entire blog article. I would recommend changing, you know, the first paragraph, the second, the last paragraph, um, you know, at least, uh, but other than that, you can largely copy and paste that old blog article and just repurpose it into a press release. Just make sure that the press release is written in third person instead of first person. Okay. That's the really only big switch between a blog article and a press release is that the press release is written in third person. Um, a blog article could be written in either or, but oftentimes they're, they're written in first person where the company's kind of writing about themselves, referring to them themselves as us, we, or maybe even I, if it's a unique author. Um, in a press release, we write that in third person. So um, don't do away with your blog, um, by all means. Use it, keep it, 
Um, it's it's got value. Um, repurpose the blog articles if you've got old articles there. Just repurpose them and power them up by um, doing a kind of a quick spin on that with a press release, and then run it through your media room and use the blog article as your source URL if you want. Um, and then um, if you want to include that as part of your monthly strategy where you do a blog article and then you do kind of a corresponding press release about the blog article, that is a great best practice. It's not required, but it's a great best practice. And I'll leave you guys with that. Have a great one.